right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to Sin Test 18. And, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. You see that? Yep, system is normal for once. Um, so, I have the dress panel on, so I can't really, I don't feel like taking it off and showing you and putting it back on and all that, but, um, the only troubles I had were date and time, batteries, and, um, the knack troubles because I need to get resistors. Um, Date and time is real easy. Just set it to a random time. It's not really 2005, but who really gives? Um, for the uh, the NACs, I just had to get some 10 kilo ohm resistors. Um, clear that trouble. And then I took a, a wire from the positive of the battery terminal and put it into the positive of the uh, 24 volt auxiliary power. Cleared that trouble. Now we're all good to go. So yeah, system is now normal. Don't have to look at those ugly little LEDs. Um, the little yellow lights that show up. So, nice to have the panel normal. So, uh, let's go and go over our devices. This test is going to be a uh, pretty noisy one. First off, the strobe of the panel is the same from last time. It'll be here for a decent amount of time. Um, it's on NAC 3, True Alert's, uh, True Alert Sync NAC, so it'll be flashing like a True Alert would. Pole stations are the same. They will be swapped out soon. I don't know how soon. I've had a couple questions of people asking me, like, you know, when are you going to change them out? I want to get them swapped out. just don't know when that'll be. Over here in the side room, we've got the Simplex 4903-9242 up again from last test. The reason it's up again um, uh, is because, you know, I have an audience that likes electronic horns better than mechanical horns. So sometimes I like to spice things up and slap some electronic stuff on there, even though this was um, the same device used last test. But, well, we'll keep it up there. Over here we have a really interesting combination. We've got this Simplex 2901-9833 on my 4903-9101 strobe plate. Yep, and I redid the wire here. It's no longer the... Um, the short wire and then some wire nuts with another piece of wire going up. That actually wasn't, so that was causing some issues with some of the devices. Some of the devices wouldn't work quite well with this because the, uh, the shorter wire kind of limited some of the power that could pass through it. So, um, but now it's just a steady thing of wire. So now all of my horns should sound fine on this. Um, if you guys remember system test 12, I had my 4903-9217 up here. And it did sound a little off. And it's one of the horns that I have that you know, really doesn't like the old setup. So fresh wire going to that. Now, if you didn't watch last system test, go back and watch it because there's a wire coming out going across the floor. And yes, I will hang it up at some point. But it's across the floor and it goes to a new spot on the system. And it goes to this. Yep. I finally got one. I've had a couple people ask me, ask me about this. This is a Cerberus Paratronics HSD24, also known as a Wheelock 7002T24. So yeah. Of course, it's got the little goofy strobe skipping and all that. But, um, you know, kind of makes for an interesting test. So, fun fact, the pitch on that horn and the pitch on that horn are roughly the same. So, um... Yeah, it'll kind of sound a little, kind of, it'll be a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, what's the word for it? A little kind of a wobble in the sound because they're both right around the same pitch and when they're close, sometimes they'll make that wobble because it's a wave of noise. Now, I got to make this a little bit quicker because I'm actually not home alone, so I'm going to set this off, do a quick run around, show off all the alarms, silence it. I'll activate it again, turn the lights off, do one more quick walk around, and call it a wrap. All right. Ready? Here we go.
All right, so the system is now reset. Go ahead and activate it one more time real fast. And actually, I'll put the key in the back. Like I said, there's other people here. Got to kind of do this quick. But it's still get a video out for you guys. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it real quick. One more quick run around, shut off the lights, see all the strobes in action. Ready? Here we go. And there you go. Alright. So I know this is a bit shorter. I know the quality isn't too good because I was kind of running around trying to make this quick. But uh hope you guys enjoyed. See y'all next week.